Yo, what's going on everyone? So, I'm drinking tea today. I know you guys always hear me when I react or watch things. I always like, clear my throat. And I'm really tired of that because it really got bad yesterday. So I'm trying to try remedies to make this not like this. So I'm going to try to just drink some tea, cold water, not cough. It's really hard, but sorry for the TMI. But we're here for more My Little Pony. So I think we shall get to that. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 16. It ain't easy being breezies. <laughs> Yay! Breezies! Breezies! Ooh. I know we've seen them before, or we've heard the name before. I know we have. They're as cute as Apple <laughs> Spike, man, he always does this. <laughs> I don't think they know that he caused it. I'm just gonna stay over here. I always find it interesting when shows use different languages. I don't want to say it's world building, but like, you know, it's different cultures. Or are you not ready, Fluttershy? Well, I didn't say that exactly, now did I? No. And I hope I special but you have here will deny that there is nothing special about these losers they can pull breeze home if they try i don't like this one the program sea breeze that's her name we would be saved are we about to have another unlikable oh, character i had no idea you all have colds it just connected really? with me Okay, so it's not that she's trying to keep them. It's generally they just don't want to go. Go out there sick. What kind of a friend would I be if I made you go now? Just give me five minutes. Uh, all right. We wait too much longer. We'll have to create such a strong breeze. It may be more than they can handle. She's partying, having fun. But she was worried about the well-being out there in the world. But maybe I just Fluttershy being Fluttershy. But now I think it's just gone too far. Saxophones. We gotta get home. Why are you spending your time on this? I will never get home. Bees. Remember in Adventure Time, there was someone named Breezy. They were a bee. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. I demand that you go away now, or you'll have to answer to me. There we go. Put your foot down. Mm -hmm. Time is running out. You're being too kind. Never make it too home. reassuring. But I don't like that message though. I don't know. Them, I do get what it is, but me. well, yeah, it's. To me. I would argue it's just this group of I understand uh, breezies. Hurt, but it's not nice to them, and Tw that was the only way Twice they listened. she was. Yes, but they had to go, and they wouldn't listen to me any other way. Mm. Oh. We need to go. Her, her, uh, her, her mark. Like that happens when they get like inspired, right? Like when they're sort of their sole purpose activates, correct? Because that happens when they get like the rainbow eyes. You must... I wasn't helping you at all by being nice. <sighs> but the truth of the matter is that I must be firm. The. <sighs> You must go now. Like, I don't know if I like this messaging. It reminds me of the whole dragon snore all over again. <laughs> like being too nice is bad. Being too forgiving because no, she was just helping them out a little bit. Like, they're the ones that kind of got too, too lazy with it. it and then the communication of the sea breeze kind of let everything be what it is. I don't know. And she's like, I'm being too nice, or I ha you have to yell no, to get. Right. I don't know. Will never get I'm, not, home. I'm not liking this. What the heck is this? Can I form into breezy? Okay, but 
I don't know if I like this. I don't know. I guess it's nice and cute, you know? I'm not denying that. Hmm. I don't... <laughs> Is it bad to say I don't like the voice acting on her? So I like, I'm like, <laughs> even if you're being nice, I don't care. <laughs> That's kind of messed up, but... But it's a good change, you know. I just... I think the voice is kind of annoying. Can they get out of there? But obviously, they're, they're leaving them inside. Oh, world building, though! It's world building! A baby breezy, bruh. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, Fluttershy. I'm just so very happy they got to be reunited with their family. Oh. Okay. See, see the way this is ending is super sweet. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I'll miss you. I'll miss all of you. My experiences with the breezes have helped me to see that kindness can take many forms. And sometimes being too kind can actually keep a friend from doing what they need to do. Pushing them away may seem cruel, but it's sometimes mm. the kindest thing you can do. Okay. I kind I kind of get what they're getting what? at. That was a close one. Just kind of wondered what it would be like to be a griffin. Hey, one day. Got a Will we get that one day? You sure? Rainbow Griffin. What about a dragon? No. And that's a crazy power that Twilight has. Oh, the flowers! Huh. Okay, okay. This is a little bit conflicting. I just don't think... But I also do think. I don't know. The message... I get what they're saying. Is that if you're being too nice, too comforting, that could actually stop your friends or other people from actually doing what they need to do. I understand that. But for some reason, I just didn't really like the way that they approached it. They were talking about when they were verbalizing with the bees and you need to yell at them. I guess that's just a contrast to the way that Seabreeze was because she was yelling at them all the time, demeaning them. So it was really nice that she kind of changed her ways or was at least making that effort to. And then the ending is kind of beautiful because they all then go with their families and then it's nice. But then, I don't know, like, just seeing the ponies not in pony form, it's, like, cursed a little bit. So, I don't know. Again, this reminds me a lot of the movie, where there's a lot of elements that just kind of put me off a little bit. Though I like those messaging and themes more. But here, I just, I don't think I really like the idea that, like, being too nice is, like, a bad thing. I think maybe if it's, like, we're being too passive or we are gullible, something like that sure but here like it wasn't even her that was doing it it was just she said multiple times that hey it's time for you guys to go and it was them who created the situation so i feel like they're not getting any, any accountability again i know the leader seabreeze wasn't the greatest one but i don't really feel this was fluttershy's fault or you know problem so i'm just a little bit conflicted with the way this episode kind of was. I like how they bounce back at the end there because they all reunite with the family and the reason why Seabreeze wanted to go was because he had a child on the way or a baby maybe. So I liked how it all formed together at the end there. And even Twilight with that spell, there was world building you know, in a sense. And I think there's a, a tell when they have that rainbow eye, like it just activates like, oh yeah, this is it. Some still nice elements here, but I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm not really vibing with this episode. And even last episode, I didn't really like that one, too. So this actually might be the the worst two back-to-back -back episodes of the series. It took a while to get to this sort of situation, but I guess it's at times it's just supposed to happen. Um, Yeah, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with this episode and the previous one. But again, I still like some elements here, but just something here just does not feel right. And 
I like when there's a good lesson that I can attach to or just something that to me makes sense. But this one, I, I again, I don't know. I feel they're kind of reaching here or they're trying to make something that's a non-issue an issue. It's different. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of conflicted. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for joining me on a good, nice, two nice episodes <laughs> of My Little Pony. And I will see you when I see you.